Hey you guys, it's Kat, and as you can tell by this green straw on my head, today we're gonna do a unicorn makeup transformation inspired by the unicorn frappuccino from Starbucks. If you've been living under the rock or you don't live in the US or parts of Canada, you may not have heard that the huge coffee company, Starbucks, made a unicorn frappuccino and it was only available for five days. I hope you guys aren't tired of hearing about this frappuccino because it's been all over the news. It boosts the sales at Starbucks. And if you haven't tried it, I was lucky enough to pick myself up one and I was one of the basic people that took pictures with it on Instagram. But it's very mango flavored and it's sweet, milky, and a little bit of sour. A lot of people hated on it, but I actually liked it. I thought it was very interesting and they're gonna do more marketing campaigns like this of different types of drinks in the future. So let's see if we can turn ourselves into the actual unicorn frappuccino. I am not kidding you whatsoever. We are gonna try to do this. First of all, I'm taking the straw off my head. And putting my hair in a low ponytail, the straw I made was out of actually a piece of green foam that I glued together on a headband. And I'm making like a low braid before putting that straw-like apparatus back on my head. You may need some hairspray or clips to let those baby hairs calm down just a little bit while you're doing your makeup. Before getting a glue stick to flatten down your eyebrows. I've heard of people using prose cream and other methods to flatten down eyebrows like some bald cat pieces that are made out of liquid latex. But I always use glue because it's cheap, it's fast, but if you're gonna do something that's like an all day event, I would definitely use something other than glue. But each layer of glue stick you do, you're gonna put some powder on it. But make sure you let each layer dry before you move on to the next one. This is gonna flatten down our eyebrows so that we could draw and paint on our face. We are getting a white eyeliner pencil to start drawing the outline of our delicious Starbucks Frappuccino onto our head and face. You want to make sure you make clouds of whipped cream at the top that are so delicious and delectable. If you do not want to do a unicorn Frappuccino, you could definitely do any type of Frappuccino you want. I know my all-time favorite Frappuccino is the green tea Frappuccino. My favorite. That's probably why I like this unicorn one because it's similar in taste. Instead of green tea, it's mango, but it's a very light, milky, weird concoction, and a lot of people had to get used to it. As you can see, I did the circle outline on my nose, which is the Starbucks logo, and now I'm going to do the squiggly marks of that blue sourish syrup that they put inside of the unicorn frappuccino. Honestly, I got so excited because it's so different and magical. It looks like cotton candy or if Willy Wonka just puked into a cup. I know that's graphic, but I'm getting a pink cream paint to cover them eyebrows. The reason why I'm using cream paint instead of aqua paint is because aqua paint will make the glue on my eyebrows disappear and it will break it down and ruin the flat surface that I put on there. Once you're finished coloring in the top, just the brow part and the top of the Frappuccino pink, we're gonna get some light bubblegum pink aqua paint and paint under the swirly mark outline we did around our eye and around the circle. That's going to be the Starbucks logo. All the way to the bottom of the Frappuccino cup on our chin. You can honestly draw this Frappuccino any size you want, but I thought just sitting on my face would be perfect so I don't have to draw down my neck and it's gonna be awkward shaped. Don't forget to paint your lips because when we close our mouth, we want it to look like an actual picture on our face instead of our actual face with weird junk painted on it. And we're gonna paint some of that light pink on our eyelids a little bit above that delicious sour blue swirl in the drink. And now it's time to get a very hot like magenta pink aqua paint after this Pepto-Bismol light pink dries. And this is gonna give some shadow and depth to the drink because it's honestly a mixture of light pink, dark pink, blue, and purple, and white, of course. Just look at pictures of unicorn frappuccinos like I did. I studied them, I looked at them, I dreamed about them. I'm so sad that I only got one. If you haven't tried this unicorn frappuccino as well, maybe it's good for you because I think a venti is like half a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts or more in calories and sugar. And the grande size was equivalent to over three Snickers bars in sugar and calories. So I got the little bit of a tall one, but I want another one right now. Once that darker pink is on our face, we're gonna get some purple aqua paint with a damp beauty sponge to stipple on some purple color over the pink. 
And there's turquoise in there. So I'm switching over to the turquoise cream paint because it's brighter and more beautiful in my opinion. I'm using my Makeup Forever Flash Palette, but any turquoise cream paint will work for this. Make sure you get all the swirly designs. You could do whatever type of swirly design as long as it resembles a Starbucks drink of this unicorn ensemble, beautiful, delicious thing that I want more of. And then we're gonna set that blue turquoise swirl on our eyelids with some translucent powder before I get some dark green aqua paint. Now this green shade of aqua paint is not dark enough for me. No, 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 it's way too bright for the Starbucks logo. I've been drinking out of that logo from this company for probably over a decade, so I know what it looks like. So I just powdered it with translucent powder after I filled in that circle on my nose that was so difficult to paint on. And then I got some matte black eyeshadow, very lightly. You don't want splotches of black eyeshadow on the green, but you just wanna dust some black eyeshadow over it to make it a more foresty, darker green. Wait for that to dry until you get a very fine detail brush with white cream paint. I'm just using some affordable Bid Nye cream paint or you can use the Milk Makeup Stick by NYX, the Jumbo Eye Pencil with a very fine tip brush. And just cross your fingers while you do this and pray that you don't make a mistake because I did the actual logo of the mermaid girl who looks like she's doing the splits of the Starbucks logo onto my nose and face in the middle of this circle. I got a mirror and I took deep breaths, meditated just for a few seconds, listened to some good music and really concentrated and held my breath a little bit too long. Remember to breathe while you're doing this because you really have to stay concentrated. You want to do the little fins and her gorgeous like hair. The Starbucks logo reminds me of Tafiti from Moana and now I have that stuck in my head as well. And once you're done painting that mermaid logo of the Starbucks queen, we all know she's a goddess of caffeine, we're gonna get a hair dryer to let that dry before getting some dark cream paint with a very, very fine little tiny detail brush and paint her face like her eyes, her nose, and her mouth. It's so difficult. And once you're done doing the Starbucks logo, we are gonna get some white aqua paint and paint the fluffy, delicious whipped cream on top of your frappuccino face. I know that sounds very strange to say, but I always wonder why the Starbucks employees always ask me, do you want whipped cream with that? That's like asking me if I want gas in my car. Of course I do. That's like asking me if I want fries with my burger. Of course I do, yes. And once you're done topping your frappuccino with all that aqua, white, delicious, creamy whipped cream, you could put some in your hair, who cares? It could wash out you're going to dry it down with a blow dryer because we're gonna put some pink sparkles on it. This pink sparkle from Graftobian was just the perfect beautiful color of pink, but it was way too watery with the aqua paint. So I would just get some glitter adhesive with some cosmetic grade pink glitter. And I got some blue glitter as well and put that all over your forehead on top of the whipped cream. As you can see, I had to dry my head with the hairdryer oddly because these glitters were too watery for this makeup. Getting more of that dark green cream paint and doing the little line marks on the Starbucks cup. Like I said, I know what these Starbucks cups look like by detail, just memory. Then I got some matte light gray eyeshadow with a very flat brush and did the shadow marks of the indents of the plastic cup because I wanna get this down to a science of turning my face into a unicorn frappuccino. I'm just doing more detail of blue and pink glitter inside of my delicious whipped cream head, as weird as that sounds. But once you're done topping your whipped cream with more glitter, we're getting into the black aqua paint and we're gonna paint our ears black and the sides of my face to blend into the background, but that's the best way to really transform your face into a totally different shape. So you kind of want to make your sides of your face as pitch black as possible on the outside of the frappuccino that we painted all over our entire face and forehead. And you don't want to forget painting your neck and chest. As you can see, I wore a black t-shirt today just for this event, mourning the loss of our unicorn frappuccino. I heard that's why they called it the unicorn frappuccino because it was only going to be around for so often. I know a lot of people did not care about it, so maybe that's why it left. But once you're done painting that black paint around our frappuccino, you are completely done with your Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino drink makeup transformation. 
I hope you guys had fun watching this. This was very difficult to paint on my face, but I think I was just high off of sugar from all of the unicorn drink and madness. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though it is super weird, I will put the links down below to other people's YouTube channels who I've seen who have actual recipes of the unicorn frappuccino that you can make at home that I think are great. But sadly, it's time for me to transform back into a human from a magical unicorn sugary drink. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my YouTube channel. I know this drink got a lot of hate, but I always loved anything unicorn just like a lot of people do. I just think fairy tale and whimsical magical things if they're brought to real life is so creative and cool. If you guys do this makeup, which would be crazy and cool to see you guys do it, or any other makeup transformations that you see on my YouTube channel, please post them on Instagram and tag me, hashtag catsketch, so that I can see your work and like it and love it. I cannot wait for this summer. There are so much great projects and things going on and makeup transformations to come. But it's time for me to go and take a shower. Love you all. Bye.